Hey there, y'all. It's Saturday, August 10th, about 7.30 here in Alabama right now. Um, just a little bit of an update. Uh, God is working very big on my situation. And I cannot give him enough honor, glory, thanksgiving, praise, and all of that. Like I've said before I started having to deal with what I'm dealing with right now. We are going to have our trials. <clears throat> We're going to have our tribulations. Because one, another promise God gave us in his word. Promise, fact, whatever you want to call it. He says through many trials and tribulations must we go before we enter into his presence. And it seems like the older we get, the faster and the harder those trials come. I've said it before, I think, in some videos that I was completely delusional in my, in my youth. I was thinking, <clears throat> especially when I was a young mother, once my children became adults, life was going to be so easy. Boy, was I wrong. But it's okay. It's just a process. I want to encourage every one of y'all. God also says, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Y'all, we are living in the last of the last days. Which means... Personal trials are going to come harder and faster. The world we are living in today is not the world we lived in 5, 10, 15 years ago. It is, doing, it is on a downhill, upward, sideways spiral. I told Ron when I met him seven or eight years ago. I've lost count now. I told him then, I said, this world is not going to get any better. It's only going to continue to get worse. <sighs> um, and people can say, oh, well, it's going to get better here. It's, it's you know, we're, we're due for better days. We may have a few of those better days, a bit of a respite, but all in all, for the most part, mm-mm. It's going to get worse um, because God, Christ Jesus, is just right there at his return. And he does say um, he won't return until iniquity has come to the full. And y'all, it's there. So, I don't mean to sound like negative Nancy. But I do encourage you, whatever you're going to, going through, if you are homebound, if for some reason you can't make it to church, please continue, <coughs> please continue to get in his word. Because at this point, we need a load of faith. And faith is the only thing that's going to see us through whatever we have to go through and uh so i encourage i'm just trying to encourage y'all stay in his word believe it don't just get in it and read it believe it and he does tell us he won't ever put on us more than we can bear and if we look to him he'll see us through whatever we got to deal with so yeah y'all and again, we got to keep each other in prayer because as the saying goes, God is still on his throne and prayer changes things. And I'm telling you what, I have been witnessing what prayer can change in the past couple of days with my own personal trials that I've been dealing with. And I want to thank y'all that have remembered me in prayers concerning the trials I'm having to deal with right now. And I will tell you, 
I, I am witnessing the power of prayer. It is a wonderful thing. So let's please remember um, to continue to um, keep one another in prayer. Um, and I just wanted to say this really fast too. Since I've been having to go through what I've been having to go through past week, I have not been on social media at all. I mean, I haven't opened Facebook one time. I, I just can't right now. And I know there's a handful of, of y'all that we are Facebook friends. So there's that. And I've barely looked at YouTube. Um, but what little bit I have looked at YouTube, I have seen several of y'all comment and I haven't even gone in there and put a, a heart or a like or any of that. I just, I, I can't even bring myself to do that right now, y'all. But for, for y'all who have said you're praying for me, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Please continue to do, and I will do the same for you. Um, but hopefully, Lord willing, once I get past this little, well, I say little, it's really not little. No trial is ever small. But once I get past this, I can get back on board and uh, go from there. But stay positive. Remember who is in control. That's God Almighty. And if he's bringing you through, through to something, he will see you through it. I, I can assure you of that. He will see you through it. So, uh, I got to get up, get on with the day. And um, one day at a time, y'all. One day at a time. That's, that's all we can do. We can't take care of tomorrow because tomorrow's not there. But we can take care of today, and we can look to him to see us through. All right, y'all, take care and stay at the throne of grace. That's the best place any of us can be. Pray without ceasing. See y'all.